previously on Don Garampa V3 Killing Harmony. I was running away. I've been running this entire time. The ultimate hunt. Those of us with ultimate hands were hunted down. I wasn't safe anywhere. Oh. Wait, that's not Rentar I was talking about. Eventually, I had no place to run. I was cornered and to escape from the ultimate hunt. I threw my ultimate talent to live as a normal high school student. We looked at one another, each of us with the same shocked expression. We're all the same. We're all running from the ultimate hunt. I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. So let's go decide who we want to go with. So for free time, I think... So who did I spend time with in the first chapter? Kirumi, Kirumi, Kyo, um, Rintaro, who's dead already so it doesn't really count anymore. And who was the third one? I forgot what the third one was. Kibo. I think it was Kibo. But now I think I'm gonna get some presents for them. I'm gonna try to smack some more of these things. So that I can get some more mana coins. And get some more presents. Yeah. Oh hey Kibo. Okay, so you're in here. I will try to remember. He's probably like, what the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> I'm messing up your room, Kurumi. What are you gonna- Are you gonna do anything about it? Are you gonna do anything about it? Not anymore! No more cleaning. No more cleaning. the whole place. Oh wait. So they can be on the floor now. gotten to so far oh I should go back to Mew's resource lab area it's like a hidden area behind the boxes that look kind of suspicious oh 
because I wouldn't push a good place. I've never went inside. Nice. Whoa. There's a bed in the middle of the room. It feels like an operating table where a mad scientist would perform human experiments. Ha! Oh, I see it. <gasps> Yay. Uh, something else to see? Okay. Where was she then? In her... Where's her research lab? Upstairs. Here. Coins. God damn it. Yep. Whoops. I wonder if those windows are covered in vines. Okay, I guess took away your broom. Now I'm gonna give you a new one. I wonder what Monokuma plans to do next. Should I hang out with Kurumi for a while? Yes! Yes! No. There's no point thinking about it. Anyway, I found the vacuum cleaner, so I've decided to use it at once. I spent some time gawking at Kirumi's beautiful cleaning techniques. Kirumi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yeah! Wait, did I give the right one? I never told you I needed this, but is it truly alright for me to have this? Thank you. This will help me immensely. If I use this, this can help everyone as well. How can I help you? Huh? Help me? I will, grant your wishes. I will do anything for you. Hmm. I don't really have anything to ask of you at the moment. Oh. Why did you talk to me then? That's... Well, I was thinking we can spend time together. Is that alright? Not no, not at all. If that is what you wish for, then I will wait by your side forever. Please don't hesitate and request anything. Uh, it's not that I want you to wait on me. I just wanted to be with you for a while. That was a rather vague request. What do you wish for me to do? No. I already told you, I don't wish for you to do anything. Why did you call for me then? 
All right, how about this? Let's talk about something. Would you like me to serve you by keeping you company? Serve? Is that not what you wish for? No, that isn't quite it. What should I say? Hirumi's a maid. Perhaps that's why she's so insistent about this. At this rate, I'm gonna suffocate. Hirumi is being too serious. Didn't you chat with your classmates during lunch breaks or after school? I had, somewhat. Why do you ask? Remember. Well, because I want to spend time with you in that way. Um. For example, perhaps we can drink some tea in a dining hall? Then let us go to the dining hall. Good, she seems to understand. Aww. What do you think? Oh, would you like to drink tea or coffee? That's true. Um, tea, I suppose. I will go and prepare it. Please wait. Wait, Kirumi! It's too late. She's already in the kitchen. I didn't mean to make her prepare tea all by herself. Would you go with her? Aw. It is done. Kirumi returned pushing a cart, and that cart was. Whoa, what is all this? It is your afternoon tea. <gasps> afternoon tea! I love afternoon tea! Oh, one of the things I really regretted not being able to do because I didn't have time was having afternoon tea in London when I was in London last year. I went this year. I went this year also. I was really mad. I can see that, but I've never seen something so extravagant. There were delectable sandwiches, cakes, and scones lined up on the cart. Or scone. The tea smelled so wonderful, it put all the other tea I ever had to shame. She prepared all that in minutes? Is this the power of the ultimate maid? Please, go ahead. Thank you. Um, thank you. I sat down, but noticed Kirumi standing still, with perfect posture as always. Hmm. Kirumi, aren't you going to sit? If I sit as well, then I cannot serve you. No. I don't want you to serve me. Come, sit with me. Please, go ahead. I prepared this just for you, so please. Sweetie, you commanded me to prepare your tea. You and I intend to complete any request given. Please, enjoy this tea. Mm. Okay. <sighs> okay. I got one fragment. Kirumi waited on me, hand and foot, and I returned to my room. The tea, the sandwiches, the scones, the cakes, they were all excellent. Oh my god, I want cake. I want cake. All right. Looks like there's still some time left. We have three Monokumas that I found this chapter. I don't know what the other ones are. Uh, let's get these out of the way. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see who I can even hang out with. Uh, nope, wrong one. Oh, wait. This one. Where is everyone? There's Himiko, there's Kibo, there's Kokichi, who I don't really like, but kind of want to know what his deal is. Or I can keep hanging out with Kurumi. Oh, Ryoma. It's in the library. There's Mew. Oh, I want to hang out with Mew, too. Tenko. Mm -hmm. Why is he in the Ultimate Maid Lab? Oh, right. He really liked that room. kind of want to keep hanging out with Kirumi. 
Mew. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of interested in Mew too. It's a fast travel place. There we go. Surely back there. What do you want? I'm fucking busy. We want me be your, if you want me to be your playmate, do some dog tricks or something. Should I hang out with Mew for a while? You know it might be safe to ask. Yeah. Seriously? You're actually gonna do it? Oh man, this I gotta see. I actually ended up performing tricks like a dog for Mew. Oh my god, Suichi. <laughs> Are you serious? I somehow ended up growing a little closer to Mew. Would you like to give her a present? Yes. Yay. Okay. Oh no, that's for, um... Kibo, definitely. Wearable blanket? Sure. wanted this so bad not bad perma virgin when you plan to slip off some flip between those big old titties well if you're talking it to me every day I guess I can let that slide you ready ready don't look at me like I just blew up the dove with a rocket launcher I Miyu Iruma the gorgeous girl genius I'm gonna devote my time to you and you'll entertain me in return right you'll leave me a hundred percent satisfied right I I don't know about that. Are you saying you invited me without making any plans? You Typical. When men see the heat I'm packing, they get all nervous and stiff. <laughs> but since you caught me in a good mood, alright, I'll show you my inventions. Follow me. Without waiting for my answer, Miu strutted toward her lab. I wanted to see what she made. Here we are, Miyu Iduma's research lab. I know that you brought me here. First invention I'll show you is this. What's this? A sensor? Wow, you actually figured it out. It's a sensor. But can you guess what kind of sensor? I don't know. That's what I thought. I call this baby the hookup counter. Hookup counter? It counts how many people you fucked, or how many have fucked you. Don't point that at me! Too late, let's see the results, shall we? <laughs> no fucking way, you kidding me? What did it say? What did it say? Now, on to the next invention. Me, you held out a machine that looked like an arm with a boxing glove on the fist. What is this? Auto puncher that punches you for telling terrible dirty jokes. Why is the name so literal? Who cares? Sometimes I'm too lazy to think of names. I'm constantly cracking out new inventions. You can't expect me to name them all. I mean, do you name each of your little dudes after you blast them to a tissue? Oh, it hit her. <laughs> you got punched pretty hard. Is she okay? That, that was sudden. Still though, that was a good punch. I guess she's fine. 
<laughs> Alright, sorry to cut your fun short, but I've got one more invention to show. What is it this time? This looks like a ray gun from a science fiction movie. This baby will teleport underwear in a flash. I call it a Gone Commando Gun. What? Just point this light at a pair of underwear and you can send it anywhere you want. What do you think? Cool shit, right? What? You can teleport objects? Not all objects, just underwear. <laughs> just underwear? She's wasting this incredible technology on underwear? <laughs> what do you think? Bow before my formidable talent. I don't know what to say. This is all very odd. Don't, don't look at me like that with those cold eyes. I just wanted to show this stuff to you. Oh, did I upset her? No. No, um, it's really creative. Really good stuff. Really? Okay. Yeah, I think it's good that, um, you have so much fun with your inventions. You think so? That makes me happy. Yeah, my inventions are... My inventions are always awesome. Not even saying it. But even geniuses like to be praised. You seem to understand that pretty well. You know, you're pretty alright. I'll treat you real good from now on. Just make sure my technique doesn't blow your mind too hard. You'll treat me good? So you're not gonna test anything on me, right? Yeah. My brain feeling a bit scrambled, I return to my room. Official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. Everyone is out now on work duty. Hmm. Nighttime already. They really flew by too. As I lay in my bed, Ryoma's words came back to me. Hmm. Reason to live. When I really think about it, what do I have? I want to see my family and friends again, but is that a reason to live? But I wonder how it was for Kaede. I'm sure she had plenty of reasons to live. That's the kind of girl she was. But I... What am I thinking about this? I shouldn't be thinking this stuff. I know I need to stop thinking that way, but when I'm alone, I can't help it. it. That's okay. With all my willpower, I force myself to sleep. Is he sleeping? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's sleeping. He's out like a light. Oh. No, you mean out like a light. More importantly, Who cares? Just hurry up and leave the presents so we can get out of here. Mm. Don't rush me. Jeez, it's dark in here. I can't tell which is which. What? College entrance exams are a big milestone on par with finding a job or getting married. Are you examinees out there working hard? When studying, focus is the most important. Boost your focus by throwing away all those comic books and video games. No. Oh, prospect tune soft games are fine. They're especially made to improve your focus. And burn those pictures of your girlfriend. You don't have time to indulge in good memories. But make sure you don't burn your actual girlfriend, cause you'll go to prison for that. Prison might help you focus, but then you wouldn't be able to go to your exams. If you can't focus at all, it's also good to confine yourself some to confine yourself somewhere and study. Wait, this picture in the background is distracting me so much from the text. I recommend confining yourself in an enemy's base. The thrill of studying in a place where you might get caught does wonders for your focus. Oh, and I also recommend studying in a disaster zone. The thrill of sitting in a place where you could actually die does wonders for your focus. Oh, and I also recommend studying in the middle of your exams. The thrill of knowing it's too late to get any studying done does wonders for your focus. With my advice, you'll beat the competition. So get out there and do your best. Right. Oh, 
that the present? Rise and shine or shine. This is an official, announcement. official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. So Have a wonderful killing school semester today. He's talking a ton now after Monokid is gone. Wonderful announcement, Monotan. I can't believe this is your first time. This isn't really your first time, is it? Hey, is this really your first time? Oh, you're blushing. How cute. Anyway, we dropped off some presents in your rooms. Cow and fear, cause hell starts here. Present? What does that mean? These! Okay, but wait. First order of business every morning. Get the shit out of my way. When does this get here? Looks like a monopad, but it's not. It says Cubs pad on the back of fine in the back and fine print. I touch the screen, the device came to life and started playing a video. Kaito Momoto's motor video. By popular demand, it's time for the motor video. Hmm. Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado, Kaito. Ah. Kaito Momoto, the ultimate astronaut. Thanks to his exceptional talent. This young man is already an astronaut trainee! Wow! Our team has managed to score an exclusive interview with his grandparents. They miss their grandson terribly and hope he returns to them safe and sound. But don't just take my word for it! Let's hear it straight from the source! Kaito, as long as you're alive, I don't need anything else. No matter what happens, you must live. You must never give up. Please, live on. For our sakes, too. Their only wish is for Kaito to live. Will Kaito be able to fulfill his grandparents' wish? Ah, yes. One more thing. Shortly after this interview wrapped, these old farts suffered an unfortunate accident. What kind of accident? It's a secret! Find out for yourself! <laughs> what was that? Wait, is that supposed to be for me? Or Kaito? A motive video. Could this be another one of Monokuma's motives? Even if it were, why do I have Kaito's motive? No. I'll think about that stuff later. I should hurry and tell Kaito. I ran out into the hallway on a mission to find him. Okay. See in his room. Probably not, right? With shaky hands, I press the doorbell. No answer. Did he already leave? In that case, he must be at the dining hall. I'll try there. Uh, yes. Kibo, have you seen Kaito? Kibo. Impeccable timing, Suichi. I was on my way to get you. Huh? You are? Please. Everyone is gathering in the dining hall. Please come right away. I'll go get everyone else. Everyone? Is this about the videos? I should go to the dining hall. Kaito must be there. Okay. Is there anyone here? No. Let's go. Where's everyone? Kaito's not here either? Um. Has anyone seen Kaito? <laughs> you seem in a panic. Over the cubs pad if I'm not mistaken. Huh? What? Uh. You're not the only one who got one, Suichi. Uh -oh. 
We all did. We have all been given motive videos. However, they have been mixed up. Mixed up? When I woke up, there was a cubs pad in my room. But that video on it wasn't even mine. Tsumuki, we should discuss this once everyone is here. Oh, sorry, you're right. What do you mean once everyone's here? Kaito and Kiba want to gather everyone else so that we may discuss our plans. Yes. Shall we wait for everyone then? Until then, I can provide you with all the massages. Um. Thank you for waiting. We gathered everyone else. Oh dear. My word. And after I was about to finally experience one of Kirumi's famed massages. What is it? I personally don't like massages. They hurt. But what do you mean? Are you also suggesting that I cannot read the air? Yes. Well, so what is it? Why did you drag us here? Come on, man. Didn't I tell you? It's about the cubs pads. Monokuma gave us a new motive. We can't not talk about it. That's so. That thing that looks like another monopad? That was a motive? Huh? Maki, haven't you watched the video on the cubs pad okay. yet? No, I ignored it because I figured it was something stupid. Uh... That's actually... Really courageous in a weird sort of way. Right. You don't have to speak up, but this is important, so you should at least listen. So. What are these videos? Hmm. No doubt, they are more motives, Monokuma. Why are they all mixed up? Honest. Yeah, why Gonta get Sumuki's video? Hey. Don't say it, Gonta. Huh? Uh, I heard it. I see. So Gonta has my video. What happened? Going to not supposed to say it? Yeah. Who fucking cares? We're gonna exchange them anyway, right? No, no we cannot exchange them. What? We can't? Why? Why not? Their video is the most important people in our lives. No. And that is precisely precisely why we cannot exchange them. Listen closely. Although we do not know why our motives were mixed up. As long as we don't exchange them, we don't have to see our motives at all. Then... So it's better to just ignore them. Yes. At least that's what I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That that's true. If we ignore them, then we won't have a motive. I am against that. Why? Against it? If we see that video, it'll turn into a motive, right? <laughs> that's why I want to see it. Uh, um, you do? Always messing around. You were saying something like that before, that you don't plan on surviving. It might not matter to you whether you get killed or not, but yes. we're different. We all want to live. Wake up already. You're like some zombie wandering around with no will to live. No will to live, huh? Hmm. If that's how you see me, then so be it. Not cool. But I've got no plan to change my opinion. That's just not cool. What? What did you say? Mm. Who cares? Ryuma just stated his opinion. Because? Actually, I feel the same way as him. Kuchi. Are you trying to cause trouble again? That's so mean. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not saying we shouldn't care about killing or dying. <laughs> but I think it'll be better if we didn't cooperate with each other. Actually, we definitely shouldn't cooperate with each other. Why? We shouldn't? Why not? Because... Think back to all of Monokuma's actions so far. Whenever we tried to work together, Monokuma would retaliate with a plan to make us suffer. It happened when Kaede wanted us to cooperate and get him with these motive videos, right? Which means, the more we try to cooperate, the more he'll try to make us suffer. Yeah. You're saying that if we do not rally together, we will not be made to suffer. That's why I had no choice but to screw with you guys. But you angry didn't even notice. That's... And you're not lying to us right now. Well, you know. Whether I'm lying or not, what I'm saying is still true. You know. Anyway, we shouldn't force ourselves to cooperate. Let's just all do our own thing. So, I agree with Ryoma's suggestion because we're trying to cooperate that we're suffering but what about everything we went through what was the point of kaede sacrificing herself so that means... anyway i'm warning you all for your sake let's just exchange our motive videos instead of cooperating with each other See? well now that i said i won't cooperate i can't afford to be seen to you losers come on gonta let's go huh? what gonta too we promise to think of a way to get everyone to exchange their motive videos, remember? So that means... Anyway, can you me? I'll hit you up later when I'm feeling hungry. Huh? But wait, did Gonta make promise? Actually, <laughs> Why 
Why can't you tell when he's lying, Gonta? Quit screwing around. Arsic? You're right. I've had it with his lies. So are we all done here? And I'm leaving. Kunumi, bring me my dinner later. I'm heading out too. Wait up! Don't forget, we're all struggling to get out of here alive. So don't get on our way. I've got no intention of getting in your way. I've never done something so uncool. Kirumi, can I get you to clean my room later? Actually, you guys are relying on Kirumi too much. I do not agree. Serving others is a true desire of any maid. <laughs> you shouldn't spoil people though, especially the degenerate males. Oh, cooperation is the number one factor in our suffering, is it? How, I wonder, will this turn out? I will observe with great interest. I shall observe. Oh, and you me, I shall have you record my observations. I trust you to do it properly. What? Why is everyone asking her this time around? <laughs> well, I'm certainly not going to hang out with a bunch of chumps like you. That being said. Guess I'll go back, take a shit, and get some sleep. Kirumi, think of an invention for me, okay? Um, How much is everyone going to depend on Kirumi? My workload has increased significantly. This calls for a more tactical approach. And you can't spoil them. They'll just turn into ungrateful leeches. What's wrong, Nico? Are you hungry? How about we eat together? Give me one tripod pop, please. God damn it, Tanko. You're giving her more work. You don't like tripod pot? You don't get it, Tanko. Himigo isn't hungry. I know, because I have the almighty Atua. <laughs> Whatever, let's just enjoy some tripod pot. Jeez. You're so careless, Tanko. In the end, those of us that stayed behind had tripod pot for a quirky take on breakfast. We also promised not to show each other the motives. Were they a tripe fun? That was in the kitchen? Tripe is not a very common ingredient. Hmm. Too much breakfast. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. Anyway, it seems like everyone wants to do their own thing. What can we do to work better together as a group? I wish I could do something on my own, but that's impossible. If I screw up, it'll be just like Kaede all over again. It's no use. I did it again. Can't keep these thoughts out of my head. Can't stand around doing nothing. I... I promised her. Free time!